Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this 2011 Tiffin Allegro bus. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start the tour of this uh, 2011 Tiffin Allegro bus here on the inside. This is the 43QBP floor plan. This one has uh, 74,000 miles on it. Uh, it's got the 450 horsepower Cummins, uh, Allison transmission. It's riding on the Power Glide chassis. Uh, this one's loaded up with really nice features on it. Stuff like Aqua Hot, uh, power window blinds, just a really, really nice coach. Of course, the Tiffin Allegro bus is one of the most popular motorhomes in the country, and this is a uh, really great example. So what we're going to do in this tour is I'm going to go uh, take you on a, uh, a look through the interior to see the floor plan, how it's laid out. I'm going to point out some of the features, but this is not intended to be an in-depth review of all of the functions and stuff like that. I'm just going to give you an overview of the floor plan and some of the features and also point out the condition it's in. We do these uh, videos primarily so that uh, folks can do shopping in the comfort of their home. This has 74,000 miles on it so it's it's in awesome condition but it is not perfect, it's not brand new. So what we feel like everyone knows that when you're buying a pre-owned uh, RV, you just want to know what condition it's in without having to to uh, always go out to the RV lot and walk around. Uh, so what we do is we bring the RV to you uh, and try to uh, explain this in a way that you understand exactly uh, what condition it's in. So we're going to start right up here in the front. Um, uh, both the passenger and the driver's seats are in uh, fantastic shape. There's no rips or tears or stains. There's no wear on the front edge of the seats or anything like that. They're in uh, just nearly perfect condition. Um, our cabinetry, the same thing. The cabinetry throughout the coach is in gorgeous shape. It's got a nice uh, semi-gloss to high-gloss finish on the cabinetry, and it's a glazed cabinetry. Very, very nice, and very nice decorative pulls. Uh, this would have been a satellite system up here originally, so we've got the wires there. Need to, need to put a satellite back there to have this cleaned up a little bit. Got a, a Panasonic DVD player here. Um, over here we've got our awning uh, controls. Around here we've got some, uh, this is an antenna control. You got your power booster for the antenna, stuff like that. You got a big flat screen television here in the front, right up by the driver and passenger area. You've also got one midship in the back of the living area. So you've got two televisions on the living space to choose from. Uh, you've got the power day-night uh, blackout type shades so you can bring down the solar screen side or the complete room darkening side. Uh, that is pretty much throughout the coach. So we've got that not only on the front but throughout the whole interior. I do have a dash mat on, uh, on this one. It's not damaged in any way underneath it. Uh, it's just up there to protect it. Keeps the UV rays off of it and stuff like that. So uh, you do have that dash mat there. You've got your stereo here, uh, your backup monitor, which actually has uh, turn signal cameras as well, your HVAC controls, you've even got a spotlight, a remote control spotlight up on the roof. Got your smart wheel, which allows you to control your headlights and wipers and stuff like that right from the steering wheel. You got HWH computerized leveling on this, so no need to uh, no need to manually do that. It's all uh, auto automatic, and HWH is, in my opinion, the best uh, brand on the market. Um, so pretty much your standard uh, setup up here. We do have a custom mat up here, this brown mat, which uh, protects the floor. And we've got a high gloss um, tile throughout. It's a rectangular floor, uh, a rectangular tile, I should say, with these little mosaic drops. Um, it is in very nice shape. Um, there are a couple of tiles with some hairlines. I got a couple of hairlines in here. Very small, but they are there. And got a little bit of a rubbed area right here from the slide out. That's kind of common. I, I believe I can take care of that, uh, just buffing that out a little bit. 
nothing much I can do with the uh, little hairlines other than maybe being able to touch that up with a little bit of porcelain repair. Um, you'd be surprised what you can do. But it is um, not bad at all. You definitely have to be looking for it to notice it. There's no feel. I cannot feel it like raised area or anything like that. And it might be an area where most people are going to have a rug anyway. So. I don't want to make it sound like it's worse than it is, but we do these videos, like I said before, to show you both the good and the bad. And that's one, uh, one tile there that I'm noticing that's got that. Coming over here to the kitchen, we've got a convection microwave, our induction cooktop, Corian countertops that are in great shape, double bowl stainless sink, again in, in really nice shape, uh, no uh, excessive amount of um, wear and tear or scratches in that at all. Same with the cooktop. It looks virtually brand new. No, no scratches or anything at all on that. Got a gorgeous backsplash in here with glass tiles here and, and uh, normal porcelain or ceramic here with these nice little drops and nice listellos. Just a really, really nice quality backsplash. Very pretty. Lots of cabinetry here. Um, all in really nice shape. You can see it got nice wood pull out in, in this one so a lot of attention to detail that Tiffin puts into the cabinetry on the Allegro bus and the Zephyr. Qu cabinet quality is very nice. All these drawers are in great shape. I don't see any uh, scratches, uh, wear marks, or anything like that. They all look really great. I almost forgot because it's nearly invisible but you have a uh, washer here, a dishwasher. Over here you've got your residential GE refrigerator. It's really nice. Got our dinette here with uh, two dinette chairs. I will say that there is a bit of wear on the fabric of the dinette seat. This is a kind of a satiny material and uh, there are a couple of marks on it. Uh, what we can do is send you out a detailed picture package if you're out of state. Um, we'd be glad to send you a picture package so you can see all this stuff up close. Nothing substitutes for seeing it in person, so if you're close by, try to make it over. But we would be glad to send you a detailed picture package. These certainly aren't nasty looking or gross or anything like that, but they just do show a couple of marks there. So um, uh, we also have the cabinetry back here. We've got kind of a hutch back here for the um, for uh, the back side of the dinette, and you've got a keyboard tray right here. You've got an area down here that'd be great for a printer, and it's got a tray that slides out. So it's kind of multi-purpose dinette slash workstation uh, here. So that's really nice. All the cabinetry along here is beautiful. You can see these wall sconces are, are really pretty. They just always, I love Tiffin's electrical, um, their light fixtures and stuff. They just always do such a nice job with those. They're always very decorative and unique and something you just don't see in, in other RVs. Uh, they always have their own designs for that. Uh, the poles are very unique uh, but kind of a modern uh, tasteful look. Lots of nice detail work in the cabinetry. The same with the ceiling. You've got this inlaid uh, kind of step up area right here so it gives a little bit of visual interest to the ceiling. No evidence of any leaks in here or whatsoever. Um, there's no stained areas here on this carpet uh, from leaks or anything like that. Um, so the uh, very little carpet though. So I would say this is probably a number eight on the 10 scale um, if, if I was uh, uh, guessing on the the, qual the condition of that carpet. I'm sorry I'm stumbling just a little bit, but uh, the carpet is just fine. It's, it's just a very tiny bit here. Almost everything up here is tile. Uh, coming over here we've got our ultra leather sofa right here and this is a, um, a jackknife style sofa so this will lift up and just flop out like that. So you've got sleeping uh, for a person here and we've got the same thing over on the other side. So you've got both sofas will make a sleeping area. You've got the day-night shades throughout here. They're all electric. I'll show you the control in just a moment for those. Over here we've got that second flat screen television, Panasonic television, with some storage. Be a great area for DVDs down below. And right here is your control panel for all the shades. So you can just pick whichever window you want, whether or not it's a day or night shade and then just push your arrow buttons and they'll go up and down. 
uh, so it's just really nice. Uh, very, you can also control, you can say, I want all of my blinds closed or I want all of them open uh, and it'll do which, whatever you want on every single window. So no need to do that for every single window. Over here we've got the, uh, the second sofa and it's sort of a J-Lounge style and again it's going to jackknife out and uh, make a sleeping area there. Uh, all of this is in great shape back here. The walls are in uh, not, not banged up or scratched up or anything like that. There's no peeling wallpaper or anything like that. Everything's in just really nice condition. Cabinetry is virtually flawless. Um, pretty much up here in the living area, the only areas that show any wear and tear are the, the couple of areas on the dinette the hairline on the one tile that I'm seeing there and a bit of wear on the carpet, just minor stuff. But overall, really, really nice shape up here. Um, coming on back to the midship area, right here we've got our, our toilet, our half bath. Um, so you've got a vanity here with a, a sink and you've got a, a porcelain bowl uh, toilet over here. This is a bath and a half design, so this is your half bath that public can use or, or your, your company can use, and they don't have to go back into your private bathroom. You also have a stacker washer and dryer, which is really nice. This is the more residential style. I think that just blocks the camera view when I do that, but you've got more of the uh, residential style stacker washer dryer. Um, all of your lights in the coach, I didn't mention it earlier, are, are, are uh, I think they call it multiplex lighting. Uh, you just push the buttons for the area that you're going to uh, turn on and off. Got your slide controls here. Got a nice big king bed back here and it is a sleep number bed with a wireless remote control. Um, bed spread is in perfect condition, same with the headboard. All the cabinetry back here is in gorgeous shape. You've got this nice decorative glass um, door that separates the living area from the bedroom, and it just, it's just a really, really nice looking door. I love this, uh, this frosted glass in there. It's in great shape, rolls really nice and smoothly. We've got the same similar sort of ceiling treatment back here in the bedroom as in the front, but we do have a ceiling fan, so that's really nice. We've got yet another flat screen television back here going to have room for electronics down here, another satellite uh, receiver if you would like or whatever you might want there. Uh, some drawers here, nice big drawer right there for storing. Uh, right now there's, um, there's stuff in here for the stacker washer dryer, that door, drawer's not been uh, emptied out, so it's got all the stuff, a nice place for your laundry supplies. Got another bank of four drawers back here. Um, don't see any, any wear and tear on any of these items back here. All of the blinds are great, uh, the countertops are great, the cabinetry, uh, the carpet is in really great shape back here. There may be some very modest wear at the entry to the bedroom right here with transition from tile to carpet, but in general it's in very nice shape. Uh, not brand new, but definitely not abused. Um, and then we'll end up the interior part of the tour back here in the uh, bathroom, you got a nice big closet back here with a safe in the wall, and you got lots of shelving. You've got hanging storage over here, over here, up above, so lots of ways to store stuff in here. You've also got your double bowl vanity over here with vessel style sinks, so it's a nice updated kind of a modern look uh, with the sinks. You've got your Corian countertop, of course, nice high end. Uh, modern style faucets and really nice woodwork back here. You got your, uh, your little spotlights. You've got, this is going to be your, um, uh, your breakers and fuses over in this area. And then over on this side, you've got a toilet. Uh, this is an electric flush Dometic toilet, so just push a button and it's going to flush more like a home unit, but it's electric powered. It's because we're a little further away from the black water tank, and we've got to pump the water over to the tank. Uh, you've got a storage area up above, and you have uh, a corner shower right here. So you've got a uh, uh, nice shower here with a nice big, um, nice big, uh, skylight and you've got a cover so you can cover that over and you don't have 
the sunlight uh, heating up this area too much. You've got three air conditioners, so you're not going to have to worry too much about that. But uh, you've, got, you've got those if you need it. That's pretty much the inside of this motorhome. Let's go ahead and tour the outside. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour up here in the front of the motorhome. Uh, the front end is in really great shape. I have had just recently the clear front protective bra removed. I'm not a fan of it. If you've watched my videos, you know that. Uh, we don't usually ever reinstall it. Um, but this one came off uh, very nice up here. There's only one little scratch in the paint here that I noticed. It's very small. There's no chips in the paint whatsoever because it's been protected. The only thing that happened, there's a couple of very small areas where when the film was removed it did damage the clear coat. But it's very small areas. You almost can't notice it. I don't even know if I can get it to show up in a picture very well. But I do want to point that out, that it did do a little bit of damage to the clear coat. Um, coming back from there, we've got our entry steps right here. Uh, here's our entry door. You got your Tiffin symbol on the side there that they always put. You've got your nice handle here with the keyless entry and there's no cracks in that handle or anything like that. It's a really nice shape. Sometimes the Lexan or whatever that's made out of gets little crazy cracks in it and it, and it, looks, uh, it looks bad. But this one's in great shape. One thing you'll notice uh, as we go around, this isn't the best view, but the windows have been uh, have had a special custom sticker applied to it so that the paint job continues up over the uh, windows and it, it, it kind of just mimics the paint scheme on the windows. Hopefully as we go around we'll have a better shot where I can point that out a little bit more. You can see here it's got uh, some of it on there. Maybe it, I don't know how well it's photographing but in real life it looks really really great. Um, up here we've got our Michelin uh, tires. These are 295 80 These uh, This front tire is a, a 16, a, a 12th week of 16, so we're in good shape there. Um, we've got an outdoor uh, television for our, our patio over here, and we do, of course, have a power patio awning. It goes from back there, just forward of the rear uh, slide out to up just forward of this slide out and it comes out and uh, will cover the whole area. Schedule today didn't allow for me pulling this out into a different area. We've got coaches all over the place so I'm having to film this in a little bit tighter area than normal so um, don't have quite as good of views as normal but uh, hopefully this is still going to be helpful. Uh, in here we've got our storage bay. Uh, you've got electrical outlets and stuff like, in, uh, stuff like that in there. Uh, it's in flawlessly gorgeous condition. I mean, just super clean in there. Bottom of these bay doors are in great shape. A little bit of tire, a uh, little bit of chipping in the paint right here from just tires uh, throwing up rocks as you drive. Nothing you can do about it. It's just that's part of the wear and tear, but it's limited to just that area. Back here is in really nice shape. There's not any scratches or anything. There's one tiny little surface scratch right there that's just about coming off with my with my finger so in really nice shape there is a little chip right here I'm being kind of picky but we like to point out all of that type of stuff both of these uh, bay doors have full uh, full slide outs they go all the way through to the other side the slide trays I should say so you can pull that slide tray out this way or go the other way and they're both in gorgeous condition. There's no, no stains in them. They're not dirty or anything like that. They certainly look like, uh, the storage bays look like a coach that's much newer than it is. Um, it's just in fantastic shape. All the paint is in really, really nice shape. Any wear and tear is limited to little scratches, little chips here and there. I see a little chip right here. Stuff that could very, very easily just be touched up with some simple touch-up paint. Uh, a little bit of clear coat on that front would, would be all you'd need for that little area on the uh, where the uh, film was removed. Uh, in here you can see we got our Aqua Hot uh, in there. So you do have the Aqua Hot system on this. You've got four slide outs, so this is a back bedroom slide. 
Michelin's on the rears as well. Um, these date codes are 2010, so these are the original tires on the rear. Um, so they're, uh, they're getting uh, to that age, but these rear tires are the original. Um, right there's your DEF uh, fluid, your, your diesel fluid. This door's in great shape. This is all your batteries and your, some of your electrical stuff back here. Very, very clean. Maybe this will give you a good shot of the side of the motorhome. It's just a really pretty, pretty paint scheme. Coming around to the back, we've got um, our hatch for the motor. you got your Cummins engine in there. We purposely don't clean any of our engine compartments unless they just absolutely have to be clean. We do not like to clean them. Uh, this way, person can see if they've leaked. Uh, if it's a new leak, old appears to be a new leak or an old leak, but this one's good and dry and we just feel like it's better to leave them alone uh, so that we're not, uh, not hiding anything or, or trying to cover anything up and it's in really nice shape in there. It doesn't really need cleaned. Uh, all across the bumper here is in really nice shape. Maybe a, a couple of tiny, tiny little nicks back here in the paint. Just stuff that's literally less than the size of a pencil lead, but just a few of them scattered around here uh, in that hit hookup area. Uh, a little bit right here, but very, very minor. I would say overall the paint on the motorhome is a nine on the 10 scale, uh, eight and a half to nine. Uh, it's really in nice shape. Sidewalls have no delamination or anything like that. Um, this slides out, slides in, uh, paints in great shape here. We've got our tires back here. The wheels are all in nice shape. Here's our wet bay. Um, everything's uh, nice in there. You've got a, a, cord, a hose reel right here, your black and gray water tank valves. Nothing's smelly or dirty in there whatsoever. Um, back here you've got your central vac. I didn't point that out inside, but there was a kicker uh, on the floor midship uh, where you can sweep up the floor. You kick it open and you just sweep your dust right into it and it sucks it up. So that's a really nice feature to have. More so than using it for the vacuum in a coach like this, you don't have a whole lot of uh, carpet. The central vac is really nice for sweeping your debris uh, into it when you're sweeping up your hard floors. So they are useful even though you don't use the vacuum part of it for carpet. This is the other side of those bay doors, uh, the, the pass-through bays, side opening bay doors of course. All these are in great shape. There's no dents, there's no creases along the bottom, no heavy scratches of any type anywhere on the motorhome. Right here's our uh, some more of our batteries. These are going to be our house batteries. The other batteries were the starting batteries. Everything's in nice shape here. We've had no trouble keeping the batteries up here on the lot. They always uh, are good to go when we come out, so they're in great shape. All this paint's in good shape. Um, doesn't close this door. And uh, we'll end up here at the, uh, this front bay. This has got an air inlet right here, so uh, if you want to use your compressor for the air system to air up a tire or operate a small air tool or something like that, you've got that in there. But this area is spotlessly clean. Very, very nice shape in there. And the paint's in good shape there, too. Uh, again, if you're interested in the motorhome, we can send you a detailed picture package. Um, I hope this... Um, this has been helpful to you in making a decision. Uh, we try to show you all the good, the bad, and the ugly, as my salesman would call it. This is a very nice coach. It's a very nice, clean coach. Uh, if you have any questions, call us at 863-956-1036. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone will be glad to help you. If you like this video and you want to keep up with our, uh, with our inventory, uh, go to our YouTube page and click the subscribe button. And every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification. And it's a great way to stay in touch with us. We also have a Facebook, Highway RV Facebook page. You can always visit us online at, in, at uh, highwayrv.com. And you can email us at info at highwayrv.com. So again, uh, hope it's been helpful to you. Uh, you have a great day and God bless.